So welcome to episode 14. I hope to discuss or postulate why doctor, your stroke doctors on the whole are either non-committal or sort of pessimistic. And I'm talking about not your GP, but the stroke doctors you see at first. On the whole, most of us see specialists. Eventually, we make our way to specialists. Um, anyway, so I'll give a series of possible reasons. Reason one. Okay, the stroke happened. And as the rubble clears from your ruined life, you look to the stroke doctor to sort of give you an idea of, well, doc, uh, if you can even speak at all, what's the prognosis? What's in store for me? And the stroke specialist who you're looking towards for prognosis, how much will you recover, what speed, um, will you ever eventually recover everything, or will you just be stable and stuck with what you, what you have, is generally seen by you in the early stages within the first couple of years. Generally, you won't, won't see them again. You'll see your GP. Some report the stroke doctors, uh, they haven't seen one after the first year. Some report six months, some report two years. And it all depends on what kind of stroke you had, how much additional they think medically can be done for you. You're lucky if you're if, in, on the whole, generally, if they monitor your progress for a year or two, the stroke, stroke doctor I'm talking about. Since the recovery takes years, they are, if you had a good recovery, they don't know it. <laughs> And if you had a bad one, they don't know it because, you know, for instance, my recovery has taken 20 years and more. <laughs> uh, I haven't talked to the stroke doctors at Mass General since, you know, probably uh, 2006, seven, um, And my stroke, you know, roughly with two and a half years. Um, at least me, at least for me, they ask. They didn't stop asking to see me after a couple of years, and never at those visits did they give me a full test of my mental uh, and physical progress. They just monitored my vitals to make sure and prevent a future stroke. As I said, recovery takes years, and by now the patient, the specialist, has moved on to other patients. Possible reason two: a stroke is so individual. You know, everyone's experience have, um, is different, and recovery is different. You are talking about the brain, <laughs> and the different areas are of the brain that are affected by the interruption of blood flow. There are hundreds of miles of capillaries in the brain. Look it up. I mean, it's like some people say, you know, it's 400 miles. Another person, uh, doctor writes, a hundred thousand, who knows? But definitely there's a lot of possible areas to be affected <laughs> by the interruption of blood in the capillaries. So, therefore, every stroke is individual. And there are uh, questions, first off, for them, as how quickly 
your uh, brain's plumbing repairs itself <laughs> and how much rust there is in that plumbing. So, you know, I mean, that that's, um, in other words, the map of your brain, future of your brain is very cloudy. Possible reason three. In light of reason two, to avoid lawsuits, my doctors in Italy versus the United States, they tend in America to be uh, not overly optimistic, shall we say. They don't want to deal with the patient who has been told you are going to recover like before than the patient who doesn't do their uh, therapies or whatever now is upset with the doctor. And uh, the doctors in Italy were much more optimistic I don't know whether they had personal experience of my particular kind of stroke, as individual again as it is. Um, I don't know, but they seem to be much more optimistic about my chances. My wife was, uh, when I had the stroke, uh, rather, uh, you, you can imagine, rather depressed, and uh, they reassured her. Uh, maybe they, they were capable of reassuring you with no hope in Italy more than American doctors, but uh, uh, I don't think they face as much contention from the patient after the fact with lawsuits. Anyway, that's p possible reason number three. I would lean towards reason four. Think about this sort of logically, if it's possible. Um, Stroke is a very reactive affliction. It's, it's an affliction that you're always looking in the rear view mirror. And it's that kind of disease. It happens suddenly. And on the whole, after it happens, there's little the doctors can do. Uh, they, all the tools of medicines and things uh, on the whole, on the whole, uh, generally ineffective. It's about recovery, and you're responsible for your recovery. The doctor and the therapist steer you in the right path, on the right path, but ultimately, you're, you have to take ownership and recovery, if at all possible, it's really up to us and not them. So I'll leave you with that. Please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel uh, and spread the message a little. There's hope, so don't give up. Thank you very much.